decimated by the pandemic, the global travel industry is coming together in London as it continues its long-haul recovery. The World Travel Market trade event, a chance for the sector to showcase how it's changing and to discuss what's next. Having that moment to sit back and ask ourselves how would we do things differently and how we should be doing things for the future, uh, I think people are bringing subjects like sustainability more to the forefront and really, really raising those as big topics. Travel and tourism made a strong comeback this summer as pent-up demand was released. Global tourism was back to almost 60% of pre-pandemic levels between January and July this year. It's estimated more than 470 million people travelled internationally during that period, with Europe and the Middle East showing the fastest recovery. Amid the rebound, the industry is also gearing up to beat other challenges too. Economic and energy crises, ongoing climate catastrophes and fluctuating exchange rates among them. We will face every challenge and now we speak in one voice. We see that we must change the perception of tourism, how we offer the service. The travel sector is also focused on delivering its sustainability commitments. This trade show coming as the COP27 Climate Summit happens in Egypt. We are working on green tourism because it's important and this is also something that, that meets consumer need because after the COVID everyone is looking for green tourism, ecotourism and uh, this is one of our priorities in the future and it will be part of the future roadmap that we are working on currently. Travel is an industry facing big challenges as it builds back from the pandemic but it's also one that seems more united than ever as it looks to the future. Damon Embling, Euronews, London.